everyone. you a little bit about the garden. I see feathers. There was a, um, a hawk out here earlier. I hope that wasn't a chicken. Uh, or is that fur? No, that's fur. Maybe it was a rabbit. We have a bunch of rabbits across the road. So, I thought I would show you a little bit of the garden. Uh, it is weedy. Don't judge me. I'm doing the best I can. I have a household full of children that are sick. Besides that, we always have a weed and weedy garden, so I guess that's not really an excuse. So, all right, hold on. Okay, so what we have is potatoes that I hilled up today. This is corn. This is corn. These are, this is a row of, um, Green beans that I replanted. Then you come over here. I still need a till in between the rows. And the, yeah. And then this is beans. This is potatoes that I healed up. Potatoes that I healed up. Here are our weedy onions. And you come down here. Here's the lettuce. I did not show it to you. I'm trying to see if you can see. Where am I? I don't know if you can see. There's a container over there of tomatoes. I bought the plants. I bought some squash plants and some uh, zucchini squash plants and some cucumbers. I also bought two of the ch purple Cherokee tomatoes. I have an uncle that lives in Tennessee. Who grows those so I was going to sit down here in this chair and hopefully if this iPhone will cooperate and the wind and everything else will cooperate I can share a little something with you <sighs> well I have good news and I have bad news I had started a Bible reading program on January 1st that I completed last year and I'm not completing it on time. I'm not going to tell unless somebody asks me privately what the program is. Uh, but I'm not going to be able to complete it on time which I think is something like, oh I'm confused now. I'm like 15 days behind. It's supposed to be completed this week or next week. So anyway, I picked up on Ephesians 6 in Scripture when we got back from our church meetings last week. Actually, this was Saturday. And I thought I would share a little something with you. It is very nice whenever the Lord feeds you with something. There's a difference in just reading scripture and actually knowing that the Lord is speaking to you. And this is now one of my favorite chapters. <laughs> I say that about scripture all the time. It changes all the time, except for my salvation verse, which is John 15, 16. But anyway. So, in Ephesians chapter 6, it says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord. Am I in Ephesians? Yes. For this is right. Honor thy father and, thy, and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Hold on just a minute. Let me go over to Galatians. This is Galatians chapter 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't think that sounded right. I wrote down Ephesians. Ah, uh, Galatians. Sorry. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness. Consider thyself, lest thou also be tempted. 
bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. But if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth them. Uh, okay. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. For if every man shall bear his own burden, for every man shall bear his own burden, let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. Be not deceived. God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us go, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. That's verses 1 through 10 of Galatians chapter 6. And we're, you know, it's, the thing is, we are all human, and we're all going to come down to having faults. And uh, whether you are saved or unsaved in church or not in church. And it is the ones who are with you in, in Christ to help you through those faults, to encourage you in the Lord. And in verse 1, it's saying to help the person that has been overtaken by a fault in meekness. But be careful with yourself that you are not also tempted. You can help someone and help them in a nice manner and in a meek, godly manner. But you also have to be careful with yourself. This can be with um, befriending someone, being a friend with them. And... You know, some people you are really good friends with, and then some people you help them out. You say, hello, how are you, and encourage them in the Lord. But it's not like you're going to have deep fellowship with them because you have to be uh, careful of yourself. And so uh, verse 3 deals with pride. Well, verse 2, bear one another's burdens. We're supposed to care for everyone and, and help bear each other each other's burdens try to encourage each other in the Lord and verse 3 it deals with pride if you think you're something you are nothing you deceive yourself none of we are none of us or anything but um, it's good to prove your own work in verse 4 uh, and rejoice in yourself alone. That means look at your own self. Clean your own house before you worry about someone else's. And make sure that you are um, looking after your own things. Don't compare yourself to other people. The only person we should compare ourselves to is, is the Lord. And so we need to uh, prove our own work. Not be looking at other people's work. What are they doing or not doing? It doesn't, that's not for us to, to worry about. In verse 5, it says, for us to bear our own burden. Every person is responsible for their own sin and temptations. You're not going to answer for other people's sins or temptations. You're going to answer for your own. Verse 6, fellowship with those who labor in teaching. Give back to the one who invested in you. And that can be uh, because it says, Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. So you're going to have fellowship with those who labor in teaching. That could be a teacher. It could be a preacher. And so on and so forth. But make sure that you keep good fellowship with them. 
And verse 7, don't think that you can use God. God, um, he's not going to give you all good things and then um, when you want to do all bad. And that's in verse 7, whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. A lot of people in the world call it karma. Um, what it is is truly God's plan. But then in verse 9, with all of this, with us showing, with our proving of our own works, you know, working, laboring in our own selves and what we should be doing and trying to do right and fellowshipping with others. In verse 9, it says to not grow weary in well-doing, which is very easy to do. To keep working, keep striving, because in due season we shall reap. We don't know when that's going to be. It could be sooner or it could be later. It says, if we faint not. So don't faint brothers and sisters, especially sisters. That's what I'm thinking is watching this. Don't faint. And as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men. We should do good unto all men, whether they know the Lord or not. But especially unto them who are of the household of faith. That is your brothers and sisters in Christ. And I think that should start with your own Jerusalem, which would be your own home church, and move out from there. So, I thought I would share that with you. I'm sorry I said Ephesians 6. I even wrote it down as Ephesians 6. It wasn't Ephesians 6. But remember to not cater to the flesh, but to cater to the spirit. Because uh, you're dealing with what is eternal versus temporal when you do that. It's very windy out here. My notes are getting blown all over the place. So remember not to faint and don't give up. And the Lord, He has His promises in Scripture that if we do what He says for us to do, that we will reap rewards. And any chance that we have, we need to do good to others. Any chance that we have, we need to encourage in meekness. So, anyway, I thought I would throw that in there. This video is over 12 minutes long, so I need to let you go. So, have a good one. Bye!